If you're wondering how to set up a Facebook shop to be able to add your products and services on the platform and get more exposure, this tutorial is for you. All right, so if you have some digital products, physical products, or any kinds of services, to be honest, you can literally create a Facebook shop right inside of your business page, your Facebook fan page, or Facebook business page, and add all the products and add all the services right there natively on the platform. And I'm gonna walk you through the process right now. So I'm right here on my wife's business account or my wife's um, Facebook business page. She's a lash artist and she also sells um, lash extension online courses, right? So as you can see, she has this uh, tab here that says shop. Now, before we even get to add products and add services in here, um, some pages don't have this option to have this shop in here, right? So in order for you to be able to add products, and if you don't have this tab here already pre-built or set up, you want to come right here where it says settings. So you go into your Facebook business page or fan page, however you want to call it. Um, you go here into the settings tab. And once the settings tab opens up, you'll see a couple things in here, right? Like page info, messaging, all the other things. But the one that you wanna pay attention to is templates and tabs. So you hit this templates and tabs button and we will have a couple different um, templates and tabs open up, right? So it all depends what template you are using. So when you first set up your Facebook business page, they asked you to to, to set up what type of template you want for your page, right? So some pages do come already with the shop built in, but if it doesn't, don't worry about it. You just come down here where it says add a tab. So you add a tab and then right now I'm not able to see it in here because she already has it, right? I'm not gonna delete it because I'm gonna delete the products if I do that, but you will see it below live notes and uh, right below here, it'll be shop. Okay, so you click that and then you add the actual tab. Once you do that, it's gonna be added right in here. And then the next thing that you have to do is just come to the page. And because you're setting up this feature for the first time, you won't have any products involved, right? So you hit the, the shop um, tab again. So as you can see in here, you can, um, see the products obviously you don't have a product yet so you're gonna have to click add product now i'm gonna walk you through you know like you just add this product and i'm just gonna go into another one that's already set up and just hit edit because it's the same exact thing so first you want to add a photo right so you have to either use canva to create um the cover for the product itself or if it's an ebook or if it's a course or something like that, you can use a software that I use called smartmockups.com. And this is an awesome uh, tool. So I think I'm paying now 10 bucks a month because I needed the extra features. However, for probably like three or four months, I just used the free one. So you can get away using a lot of them just using, uh, just using the free account. So you don't have to have the paid version. Uh, but what this one allows you to do, so you can click here on multiple devices and then you can pick one of these. So for example, I always use Apple um, devices for mockups just because they look much cleaner in my opinion. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You can, <laughs> if you are an Android uh, user, you can click Android. So if you do a course or something like that, you can just click one of these and then you upload the photo uh, from Canva or just you do a screenshot or whatever it is and then the moment you add it in here you'll be able to just download the whole thing and then if you don't have um, or if you don't want to use more mockups for whatever reason you come to Canva you hit create a design and then once you create a design um, you can just download that design to uh, bring it back to the Facebook shop Okay, so then you hit add photo. So you add a photo or you can even add a video. Then you just give the name for that uh, product that you wanna create. So you, you just hit the name in there. 
your price um, tag. And now, see that it says in here, this product, it's on sale. So if I deselect this, let me make sure I copy the price. So if I deselect this, it just says price $19.97. Uh, but if I add the fact that the product it's on sale, now it's going to show up that, hey, this product uh, original price is 20 bucks, and now it's just $6.97. So then you have the description, right? So I copied this from the landing page that we created for this ebook uh, to be sold. And then we added this description uh, right in here. You know, you do need to add the fact that the product itself, it's in the inventory it's in stock right you want to create um you want to select the fact that it's public and then i don't know why it doesn't say in here but you want to again you can sell a used product so at that point you just you know hit this used or fair used good used like new whatever um but for this for the sake of this tutorial I'll just hit next and then you click save now, another thing that um, when you set up this product for the first time, you also want to take a look on like how it looks once it's all ready to go. So see that it has a share button, a save button. And if you're wondering, okay, but how people are, how are people able to buy it? So for this particular one, we select the fact that people need to... Um, message us in order for them to be able to buy it now another way that you can do it is if you come here and say add product let's see if it allows us oh no so now we cannot uh, we cannot add that uh, for a while you had the option to also add your own url for people to to buy this Another thing that you, I don't know exactly what happened in here, but this was set up. So you do need to add, let's actually do it in here. So you do need to add a description of the product that you are selling. So I'm going to put in here eyelash extension services, and then it'll go, it's going to be eyelash extension online courses. I'm just get, going to hit save to be uh fast and then you can also right like you have the option to manage the catalog and um, a couple other things you can create ads with these products uh let's see so you can create collections right so for example you can say i want to add a couple different products from my product suit into a uh, into a collection think about of a collection as a playlist of videos right so you know you have a couple different videos and then you're able to uh, create a playlist for it right so see that you can also add products in here this one it says oh dynamic abs uh, dynamic ads <laughs> not abs um, we can't um, we, we can create and I think the reason for that is because of the fo the, the image so you can also add the products right here within Facebook, right? So for example, it's going to be uh, a little bit simple when you do it the other way that I showed you, but you can essentially use the same exact thing uh, right here on the back end. You can also connect Facebook pixels. So, you know, for example, if you want people to buy it more directly from Facebook you can also use this option to connect the Facebook pixels with those products uh, directly so you know if you hit next uh, you would do the same thing that we did uh, on the other on the other set on the other end now the difference here is we can actually see that we have this option to add the website link like I mentioned previously on the front end you can't do that anymore so I would come to click funnels for example in her account and I could copy um, I could copy the URL from here and paste it here so description I'll just paste it here um, I don't have a content ID uh, for it right now price is 6.97 and I'm gonna need um, a copy I mean not a copy but a photo so I'll just take a quick screenshot of this. 
boom just gonna add the photo right here and just gonna add the product and boom right super simple easy to um, use and now the difference is they can actually when they click on this uh, button they can actually click on the because before they were able to just message the page to buy the product right now they can just click on this link and go and buy it all right so as simple as that uh, if we go back to facebook real quick just don't forget if you don't have the shop tab right here below your um, business page you just have to go into settings and make sure you add the shop tab to your rest of the tabs for your business page to be able to start adding products and services because remember right even though it says add product essentially you can add services right so for example if you're doing coaching if you're doing speaking if you're doing some sort of um, info products you can easily just add those products or add those services as products to your facebook shop this way you can also tag the product so what's cool about it um, you can you can actually you know just share it in a post and then have it you know when you share the post you um, you have the product being shared however you can create post or you can actually launch natively you you post the video and then what happens is you can tag the product inside of your videos inside of your uh, photos inside of your blog articles if you publish those natively on Facebook so that's super awesome one thing that you want to keep in mind though is if you're doing digital products and you want also to do your uh, Facebook shop Instagram integration to be able to do Instagram shops you would not be able to do it because they'll uh, they'll deny that unfortunately so keep that in mind if it's an info product you won't be able to add it to Instagram because it won't allow you to uh, have that possibility at least for now uh, one way that you could kind of work around it is you can add all your digital products to a Shopify account to a Shopify store and then integrate the Shopify store with the uh, with your Instagram page so that you can do but unfortunately until this point until the or up until you know May 2020 you're not able to uh, do that we'll do another tutorial if that's possible all right so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you did uh, hit the like button or let me know if you didn't like it and if you didn't like it why i want to hear from you guys so let me know in the comments but don't go anywhere because right here on my right side i teach you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create facebook ads from scratch to be able to promote your products and services so i'll see you in the next video